Julius Caesar Born in July 100 BC, the name Julius Caesar is synonymous with Roman history. His forefathers were direct descendants of Romus and Remus, who were known to be the founders of Rome. In fact, the city gets its name from them. Both his father and mother belonged to powerful families of the ruling class of Rome, and though he was never emperor, he has the distinction of carving out a Roman empire as vast as one can imagine. His famous words, I came, I saw, I conquered, are still remembered today as signs of victory in any war. He paved the way for the end of a republic and the beginning of an empire. His journey from his native Troy to Italy is told in the Aeneid by Virgil, one of the great works of Roman literature. When his father died suddenly in 55 BC, he was forced to go into hiding. In order to save himself from the new emperor Sulla, he joined the army and then there was no looking back. He began his military career with the siege of Mytilene. He was always a brave soldier and recognized for his work. He was captured by pirates on a ship in the Aegean Sea and he told them that the ransom they demanded was not good enough and that he would crucify them when he was free. True to his words, he gathered a fleet and did just that. The death of Sulla gave him the liberty of entering Rome again. There he lived the life of an ordinary citizen and earned his living as a lawyer. He was highly successful and soon he was in prominence again. He was sent to Spain as governor and that made him feel unworthy as he felt that Alexander the Great had ruled the world at the same age. He looked out for rich people who would fan and finance his ambitions. He was deeply in debt and that was the driving force for his ambitions. Caesar's first taste of real power came as part of the first triumvirate with Pompey and Crassus. Pompey was another popular military leader and Crassus the money man. Caesar's successful election to the consulship was one of the dirtiest Rome had seen and Crassus must have paid Caesar's bribes. Once at the helm, he started looking for avenues to expand the Roman Empire, which he did successfully. His conquest of Gaul made him popular and soon jealousy cropped up. He crossed the Rubicon River and incited a civil war. It is after this war that his affair with Cleopatra seems to have begun. Probably his longest lasting reform was the adoption of the Egyptian calendar. Advancing the power of Rome was his primary aim and for this he knew he required the army and people's support. His oratory was his strong point and he used this to the hilt. He made sure that he made all his empire consider themselves as Romans. Finally, unable to take his dictatorship, he was killed on the 15th of March by a group of senators which included some of his trusty aides. The day of his killing is known as the Ides of March. There can be no doubt that he was one of the greatest legends of history.